Well guys, if you know anything about Papa Pepper, you know that I am not a scientist. But that doesn't mean that I don't have a lab coat or glasses. It's even got my name on it. So today I have a rare opportunity because of something that happened to me recently. Interestingly enough, a while ago I tried to milk a venomous snake and that was probably the last time I had these glasses, this lab coat, and these gloves. And we're going to try to see if we can milk it. So I've already prepared one ahead of time like they do on the cooking shows. Stretch that over the top of there and we're going to try to see if we can get it to bite. Oh. Oh. Hear that? Okay, we got three hits so far, guys. Don't know if it'll go again. Oop, oh, went again. And inside that thing, down at the bottom now, is a drop of venom. But yesterday, about 20, about 30 hours ago, I was bit by a venomous snake in my thumb. It was a water moccasin, it was a small one. It hit me here in the thumb, and since then my hand has become rather large. Note the difference in the thumbs there. This one's much fatter. The difference in the width of the hands. So what I'm going to do today is a water displacement, snake bite, swelling experiment. And what I want to do is use my regular sized hand as a control, find out how much water my hand to the wrist displaces, and then do the same thing with my swollen hand and see what the difference is. Now I'm going to have to do math, and I didn't bring a calculator, but I've got water, I've got the things I need. I don't have Erlenmeyer flasks or a Bunsen burner. Again, I'm not a real scientist, but we're going to get going. So the idea is fill this with water to the brim, put my hand in to the wrist, see how much it displaces, measure that, record that left-handed, because my right hand don't work so good right now, and then uh, just kind of figure this thing out, do a comparison. So. Here we go. So this will be the control hand. To the wrist. Aha! Uh -huh. This size, it says a cup and a half, right at 12 ounces. Not exactly level, but the comparison should be about the same as the other one. It says 375 here for milliliters. So I'll just keep it in the same place and do the same measurement on the other side. So the first one was a cup and a half. Hey, I can use my right hand. That's pretty good. It's getting better. I have more mobility than I did yesterday. No anti-venom either. Although I don't recommend that. That's what the doctor recommended, so he talked me into it. That is my control hand, my left. So now, put this back here. Refill it. There we go, right to the top. Use the swollen hand. To the wrist. There we go. Move that off to the side. Get rid of that. <laughs> that is quite a difference. Wow. So on this, we're over 500, if I had to guess, we're at 550 milliliters. Wow. So we're at 550 for the milliliters. That's quite a bit. And on this side, 
will look to be about two and a quarter cups and probably 18 ounces. Hey, I'm right and left handed. So based on that, this hand is swollen up about six ounces. That's liquid, not weight. About three quarters of a cup. Does that match up? Is, is six ounces three quarters of a cup? Yes. The calculations are correct so far. And then with the milliliters, 150, about 175 milliliters? Wow. So, my hand's swollen up in about 30 hours after a water moccasin bite. 175 milliliters, 6 ounces, or 3 quarters of a cup. So guys, here's what we found out. My control, the left hand here, was at a cup and a half, about 12 ounces, 375 milliliters. When I switched to my swollen fat hand, we went up to 2 and a quarter cups, 18 ounces, or 550 milliliters. So the difference of 175 milliliters, six ounces, or three quarters of a cup. So it's crazy to think about guys, but three quarters of a cup is how much extra stuff is in this hand with that swelling. Um, this would be it represented as fluid. I'm not saying it all is fluid. I'm just saying it's definitely bigger. So anyway, as always, I'm Papa Pepper. I'm not a scientist, but I did get bit by a snake. My hand did swell. And now we did an experiment, and now we know, because knowledge is power. Pop out.